We got a gamepad detected. That's a great first sign. We're on our Xbox 360 controller here. Um, one thing to get started on this image is it does not come with ROMs. So it is going to require a little bit of configuring to get this going. But uh, as you can see, there's no systems on it whatsoever. Let's go into RetroPie. Uh, we want to do a couple things here. We definitely want to connect it to Wi-Fi so we can, uh, it's on 4.1.21. So not 4.2, but almost. Uh, packages installed on here. It's going to have all the core, all the mains, but as far as the optionals, you got all your emulators pre-installed on here. This is looking good. Your Dreamcast. Your Libretro. You got Cody installed. Okay, right up in back mode, Cody. Shutdown, update, RetroArch setup, nice. Generate favorite ROM list, nice. Audio, launch emulation station, cool. Okay, so B makes you go back. Ah, here we go. So it's a little laggy. But I mean, it's pretty cool. But I guess with the way they're doing the transitions, it just, you know, when I press down, you're going to see that. I love that this is full screen. This is awesome. But when I press down, you see how, like, when it goes from the one artwork to the next, it's kind of a little lag, like right there, a little bit of lag. But still gorgeous. Really nice visuals. There's a reason why this is 50 gigabytes. <laughs> the videos are probably on here are taking up a lot of space. You can have a dance party. You don't even need a uh, code. You got your dance party music already on here. Okay. So you got all your classics just like you would on like a Ray's image. Man, they have like every single collection you can think of. So you can take these out. You can remove collections in the a track mode setup if you don't want all these. So here we are on the actual systems. PlayStation. Nintendo. Okay. So here's our Nintendo games we added. As you can see, the snap is working. The artwork is working. This part is very, very smooth. No lag whatsoever. As you see when I go down, and if I scroll hard on these games, and then let go, pretty damn smooth. Very impressed with that. Very, 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 very smooth. I'd say the only thing where there's a little bit of lag is back on the systems uh, menu. Like if you scroll down hard, it's actually pretty good on a hard scroll. But if you let the video start to load like this, and then I hit down, I just hit down, and nothing even worked. But then I hit down, a little tiny bit. I mean, but for such a little small computer like this, like this is just such a minute, like trying to find problems with it when you know there really isn't big issues with it. Retro Pride Top 100 doesn't have a video. Okay, so let's go ahead and play a Nintendo game. Let's test this out. Make sure it boots, right? Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. There is loading screens, as you just saw. Booted right up. Can I jump on people? That's my controls here. Okay. So that game works just fine. You can play Back to the Future. That music, though. Okay. And then press 
B to go back. Let's check our Super Nintendo because we also loaded up those ROMs. And there you go. Very cool. I like how consistent it is. You see how like the box art, it's only changing those one little items here. So you have a consistent background and you're just changing the... It's really cool too that the video preview, look at that. It switches, it, it turns and says Project Hyper Pie. Very, very cool. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the game. Batman Returns to start. Boots up very quickly. Very impressed. I used to love this game. It was very difficult though. I think like the second or third level, they like, you're like on a motorcycle or something. It's pretty cool. Go, go, go. Get, save the children. All right, so there you have it. This is Project Hyper Pie. Really, really cool. Loving the videos. Loving the setup. I mean, this is as close to hyperspin as we've ever gotten before. So for those reasons, this is kick ass. Really, really cool. Really cool. Love it. Um, it seems like it's based on like the motion blue type of thing, but um, it's definitely got a lot of editing done on it. Um, and it's got the spin wheel. It's got the custom graphics. So really stoked about this one. Love the menus. Really nice. Um, you know, if I go between the emulators right to left, you know, very nice. All the artwork looks beautiful, and they have that Project Hyper Pie spinning thing. If you don't have any ROMs installed. Awesome, awesome, up, uh, awesome. Two thumbs up on this one. I mean, the biggest downside is you have to get your ROMs on this one, but some people see that as a big upside because then you get to choose the games you want on here. So that allows you to be selective on what you want to put on this system. So super, super, super good. This video should tell you how to get it all set up. If you have any questions, please comment below. Maybe you can throw me a like if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you like what I do. And we'll see you guys on the next one.